a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new topic in the last class we started with the chapter chapter number 13 the sun and the moon and today let's learn a new topic that is about the phases of moon so in the last class we learned about moon right so moon is the brightest object in the night sky the moon appears different on different nights so the different bright shades of the moon that we see in the night sky we call it as phases of moon okay so on some nights we can see the full bright side of the moon right on some nights we can see the full bright side of the moon so the moon on such night we can see the moon is completely round in shape and we call it full moon so this is the picture you can see the full bright side of the moon which is completely round in shape so that is the full moon on some nights we can see only the half side of the moon on some nights we can see only the half side of the moon so when the moon is more than half lit by the sun we call it is gibbous moon so this is the picture when it is more than half lit by the sun it is gibbous moon on some nights we see the moon in crescent shape so this is the picture we can see the crescent shape we can see the crescent moon so on some nights when the moon is less than half lit by the sun that is crescent moon so this is the picture when the moon is less than half lit by the sun that is the crescent moon on some nights we cannot see the moon at all we cannot see the moon and that is the new moon so this is the picture we cannot see the moon the dark side of the moon is towards the earth so these are the different phases of the moon so moon appears different on different nights so the different bright shapes of the moon in the night sky we call it as phases of moon so you can observe the night sky and try to find out the different phases of the moon and you will find that on different nights the moon appears different now we can take page number 129 there is a box given did you know in the year 2008 India sent its first unnamed spaceship to the moon and it was named Chandrayaan 1 then you can look into the keywords the first keyword given sun the star around which the earth and seven other planets move so sun is a star it is made up of gases which burn all the time so sun is made up of gases which burns all the time then second keyword moon a large round natural body that moves around a planet the earth has one moon below that you can see the box remember solar system equal to the sun planets moons plus other smaller objects so that forms the solar system then you can see the picture of eight planets then you can see moon then we learned about moon and the different phases of moon so this is all about the chapter the sun and the moon now let's move on to the exercise of this chapter you can take page number 130 in your textbook and let's start with the first exercise tick the correct options to fill in the blanks so there are four questions with four options so let's read it and let's answer the questions the first one the light from the dash falls on the moon and makes it bright 
So see the options, Mars, the Earth, Venus, Sun. So you can tick the right answer. See the second one. The Sun is a planet, star, satellite, moon. Third one, the moon moves around the Earth, Sun, Mercury, sky. See the fourth one, we cannot see the full moon, new moon, crescent moon, half moon. Now let's see the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? The light from the dash falls on the moon and makes it bright. The light from the sun. So the moon does not have light on its own. The light from the sun makes it bright. So the answer is sun. Second question. The sun is a, what is the answer? It is a star that burns all the time, which produces light and heat. Third one, the moon moves around the, it moves around the earth. Fourth one, we cannot see the, we cannot see the new moon. We cannot see the new moon. The dark side of the moon is towards the earth and we cannot see the new moon. Moving to the next one, true or false, tick the true statements and cross the false ones. See the first question, only seven planets revolve around the sun. So if the answer is true, you can tick. If the answer is false, you can cross. Second one, at night the sun stops shining. The third one, the moon gets its light from the sun. Fourth one, we can see the full moon. Fifth one, the moon changes its shape. Let's see the answer. What is the answer for the first one? Only seven planets revolve around the sun. So what is the answer? The answer is false. There are eight planets that revolves around the sun. Second one, at night the sun stops shining. So what is the answer? The answer is false. The sun remains in the same place all the time. It remains in the same place shining all the time. So the answer is false. The third one, the moon gets its light from the sun. What is the answer? Yes. The answer is true. Fourth one, we can see the full moon. What is the answer? The answer is true. We can see the full moon. Fifth one, the moon change its shape. What is the answer? The answer is false. It does not change its shape. It appears different on different nights. Moving to the third exercise. Answer the following questions. There are four questions. So let's discuss the answers. So once we are done, you can write it down in your notebook. See the first one. What makes the moon appear bright? Sun's light makes the moon appear bright. So moon is the brightest object in the night sky. The moon does not have a light on its own. So sun's light makes the moon bright. It makes the moon appear bright. Second one, what is a planet? A large round natural body that revolves around a star. Your star is sun. Sun is a star. It's called a planet. The third one. Name any three planets of the solar system. So we have eight planets and you can name any three planets. Mercury, Venus and Mars. Moving to the next one. Which is the brightest object in the night sky? So what is the answer? The answer is moon. The moon is the brightest object in the night sky. Moving to the fourth exercise, answer the following questions. Let's read the first one. Define the solar system. The sun is eight planets. You all know which are the eight planets and the moons. So most of the planets have one or many moons of these planets form the solar system. So the sun 
its eight planets and the moons of these planets form the solar system. Moving to the second one, why can we not see the new moon? During new moon, the dark side of the moon is towards the earth. Hence, we cannot see it. So on new moon, the dark side of the moon is towards the earth. So we cannot see the moon. So we call it as new moon. The third one, write a few lines about the moon. So see the answer. The moon is the brightest object in the night sky and appears to change its shape on different nights. So moon appears different on different nights and it is the brightest object in the night sky. Then it shines because the light from the sun falls on it. So does it have light on its own? No. The light from the sun makes it bright. The moon takes 29 and a half days to go around the earth once. So it takes how many days? It takes 29 and a half days to complete, to complete one movement around the earth. Now let's move on to the higher order thinking skills. So here you can see a diagram. So observe this diagram carefully. Based on this, we are going to answer the following questions. So there are three questions given. So what is the first question? Why is Mercury a very hot planet? What is the answer? Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Hence, it is very hot. Mercury is very near to the sun. So it is very hot. The second one, why is Venus hotter than the earth? The Venus is closer to the sun than the earth. So Venus is closer to the sun than earth. So it is hotter than the earth. The third one, why is Neptune a very cold planet? So Neptune is the eighth planet and it is very far from the sun. See the answer. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. So it is far from the sun. Hence, it is a very cold planet. Moving to the next value-based question. Read the passage and answer the following questions. So there is a passage given. Let's read and let's answer the below four questions. The earth is neither very close nor very far from the sun. It is therefore neither hot or a cold planet. This is one of the reasons that supports life on the earth. Besides warmth, living things need air, water and sunlight to live. So this is the passage. Below that there are four questions. The first question, why is the earth not a very hot planet? See the answer. The earth is not very close to the sun, so it is not very hot. It is not so close to the sun. The second one, why is the earth not a cold planet? The earth is not very far from the sun, so it is not too cold. The third one, list the factors that support life on the earth. So we all know that earth is the only planet that supports life. The position of the earth with respect to the sun, presence of air, water and sunlight are the factors that support life on the earth. Fourth one, do you think you must take care of air and water? We must take care of air and water as they are vital to our lives. So we all need air and water to live. It is very, very important for the survival of all living things. So we need to take care of air and water. Moving to the next one, page number 132. That is the project zone. You can just go through this and you can try doing this activity. The next one is about the great scientist named Galileo Galilei. 
So he was an Italian scientist and he was the first person to use a telescope to observe and study the solar system. So he was the first person to use a telescope to observe and study about solar system. So we are done with the chapter, chapter number 13, the sun and the moon. I hope you are clear with the topics. So we'll meet in the next class and let's start a new chapter. Till then, thank you.